Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our three systems across the North Atlantic. So we have newly formed Tropical Storm Peter, which is going to affect portions of the Northeastern Caribbean. And we also have newly formed Tropical Depression 17, expected to become Rose, and that newly identified area where we could have some development taking place. And so before I go into details... <laughs> Alright, let's kickstart things with Tropical Depression 17 and so it is currently located to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and it is expected to become Tropical Storm Rose later today and so much intensification of the system is not really anticipated and fortunately it's just going to be making its way out to sea and not being a threat to land but as of now it has sustained wind of 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the north northwest at 14 miles per hour. Hour. And so in terms of the model intensity guidance, we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of available models and we have most expecting that it is going to achieve tropical storm status and none are expecting it to be a hurricane because it is going to be making its way into less conducive conditions. Hence, we won't have much strengthening of the system and it is likely to start weakening probably by the next day or so. And so looking at it on satellite, we're seeing here that it is not very organized right now, but as time goes by, we can see it getting in shape and looking a lot better than it is now but again there are those unfavorable conditions that are ahead of it so really after like today or so we really want to see much improvement of the system and so now let's move on to tropical storm peter so let's go on to the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and we're seeing here that peter has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 15 miles per hour so even though it is expected to remain in the open waters during the next couple of days there is still that possibility that it could bring some impacts to portions of the northeastern caribbean so sections such as the leeward islands the virgin islands in puerto rico uh, if you're in those areas you really want to keep an eye on this because even though the center is going to be passing uh, to your north then it could still bring some impact so let's look at it on sunlight so here we have it the cyclone is not so organized right now but we can see it uh, getting a little bit better as the day goes on so even though the center is not going to be very close by the outer bands could still bring some impacts uh, there is the chance of that heavy rainfall which could result in some isolated flood in some areas so please take the necessary precautions and stay safe and this would be by sometime Monday going into Tuesday. In terms of what our models are forecasting for the track, we're seeing here that most are agreeing that it is going to be making that general northwestward like track during the next few days. Then we have a sort of variation as we head out to probably the midweek right there because we have some of our models expecting that it might uh, be making its way continually to the northwest some are showing a turn up to the north uh, which seems like the most likely outcome since that is really what the national hurricane center's cone is showing but again things can change at any time and so with this north turn that's expected it's going to be south of bermuda so is this going to be affecting bermuda the possibility is there and so we have to wait and see what's going to happen because things can always change when it comes on to these tropical cyclones and so in terms of the intensity we have quite a bit of available models and we have them all expecting that peter is going to be remaining as a weak tropical storm because it is going to be making its way into less favorable conditions which means that intensification is not really anticipated so we could see some slight strengthening but nothing major is anticipated with peter and so now let's go ahead and talk about that new disturbance so as you're seen right now there is a 20 percent chance that we could have some development taking place in that shaded region and so no imminent development is anticipated of that wave that is expected to emerge off africa probably by later today or tonight so when it is accelerating westward it is going to be making its way into more favorable conditions that are going to be resulting in some potential development of the system and so even though the chance is this low this is a new disturbance and 
five. Usually when they're just uh, starting to pop up, the chance isn't high. But as time goes by, if the favorability is going to be there, then we will have a gradual increase in the formation potential. And so let's look at that wave on satellites. So here we have it. It is located behind Tropical Depression 17 and uh, it is going to be accelerating westward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at conditions across the basin. So first up, we have the wind shear map. And so the different colors, they mean different shear intensities. So when you see the green, that means favorable. The yellow means neutral. And the red means unfavorable. And so let's take a look at... Peter. So we're seeing here that Peter is not in a very conducive environment right now, but there is the chance of some slight strengthening, but we do have some unfavorable wind shear that is in the vicinity of the cyclone. So this is one of the reasons why we're not really anticipating much strengthening of it. But we're seeing that we have favorable shear extending across portions such as the Gulf of Mexico, most of the Caribbean, and also in portions of the main development region. So once we have uh, that wave that is emerging off Africa uh, going into a region that has favorable shear, then we will definitely see some intensification of this once there is not much Saharan dust intrusion and uh, the ocean temperatures are warm. But as of right now, in terms of where that new disturbance will go, it is too early to tell what it is going to be doing. All right, so let's move on to the Saharan earlier map. And so when you see a lot of those yellows, that means that there is little dust in the atmosphere. But as we head on to the darker orange, go into that red shade, then the dust is very dense and a lot of dry air inhibits tropical development because dry air prevents moisture and moisture is what our tropical cyclones need so without that then we won't have any or much intensification taking place of our systems. So we're seeing here that Depression 17 is in a region that doesn't have a whole lot of moisture right now because we do see being surrounded by some of that Saharan dust but as time goes by we will see what happens with it and in terms of Peter, it is not in a region that has a whole lot of dust, but again, that unfavorable wind shear ahead of it is going to be keeping it as a weak tropical cyclone. And so ocean temperatures at this time are very warm, of course. We're still in the season and we're not going to see much changes, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks or so. So ocean temperatures are very warm at this time. And so guys, we have quite a bit going on and there could be a lot more left to come for this hurricane season. So we have just about, even call it about just four names being left because Rose is expected to be used for Depression 17 later today. So after Rose, there will be just four names remaining and we still have October. Uh, we have the rest of this month to go through. We have October and of course, November. And I certainly think that we will see four storms within that time period because we're not over with the season and conditions are quite conducive so once we have these waves or these disturbances then they will definitely have a chance to develop once the conditions are conducive and then October going into November is when we see systems coming from the South Caribbean so we really have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome with the rest of the hurricane season but one thing I think is almost for sure is that we will definitely have to use the auxiliary list that is provided for this hurricane season. And so guys that is it for this update video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. Just remember to always be otherwise and of course I'll keep you updated as time goes by.